Praise God. This is a life we live. We don't just talk about it. Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of the Smurf Family International Interactive Ministry, where we do read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day so you don't have to read. Today's read is for uh, March the 12th. Today's date is Tuesday, March the 12th, 2024. We are reading from Luke, the 14th chapter, the 11th verses. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads, For whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Then said he also to him that bid him, When thou makest a dinner or a supper, call not thy friends, nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, nor thy rich neighbors, lest they also bid thee again, and a recompense be made thee. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and thou shalt be blessed, but they cannot recompense thee. For thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. And when one of them sat at meat with him, heard these things, he said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then said he unto him, Now a certain man made a great, made a great supper, and bed many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuses. The first said unto him, I bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have a married wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and shewed his Lord these things. Then master of the house began, became being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in the hither, bring hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto him, to the servant, Go out into the highways and the hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. And there went great multitudes with him, and he returned and said unto them, Now if a man come to me and hate not his father, and his mother, and wife, and children, and brethren, and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you intending to build a tower sitteth not down first and counteth the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it? least haply, after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going to make war against another king, sitteth not down first, and consulteth whether he be able with ten thousand to meet him that cometh against him with twenty thousand? Or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he sendeth an ambassage and desireth conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciples. Salt is good, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be seasoned? It is neither fit for the land nor yet for the dunghill, but men cast it out. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Chapter 15. Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners, and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which was lost, until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep, which was lost. 
And I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. Either what human, excuse me, either what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently until she find it? And when she hath found it, she calleth all of her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. And he said, Now a certain man had two sons, and the, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there he wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a great, a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. And he went and he joined himself to a city, to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed the swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and I will say unto him, Father, I've sinned against heaven and before thee. And no, I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and he came to his father. But this is God, y'all. But when he was yet a great way off from his father, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servant, Bring forth the best robe, put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet, and bring me hither the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead, and is alive again. He was lost, and is found. And they began to be merry. I'm going to go a little bit over the seven minutes. Now his elder son was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Well, thy brother is come, and thy father hath killed the fatted calf, because he hath received him safe and sound. And he was angry and would not go in. Therefore came his father out and entreated him. And he answering said to his father, Lo, now these many years do I serve thee, neither transgress thy at any time thy commandment. And yet thou wilt never gave us me a kid, that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as thy son was come, which has devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him the fatty calf. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me. And all that I have is thine. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad. For this thy brother was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now he's found. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearers, and me, the reader of this exciting, precious word of God. We read all the way through. Uh, Luke, the 16th chapter. Tomorrow we will begin our read on Luke, the 16th chapter. Again, I thank each and every one of you for coming. I am not at home. I am not at home. But if you want to be a blessing while I'm away, I can use some financial blessing while I'm away. If you want to go to 7 Minute Read, pay close attention to how we spell the 7. Close attention to how we spell the 7, S-E-V number 7 in S-E-V number 7 in 7 Minute Read dot com. Go to 7 Minute Read dot com. There you can be a blessing. You can leave whatever the Lord lays upon your heart. Praise God. And or 
always, as always, you can go to 7minutebling.com. Shop until you drop these beautiful, beautiful pieces. $5, $5, $5. Amen. Praise God. Until the next broadcast, God bless.